Justin Roiland's in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> you get it? Because in the show, his character turns himself into a pickle. So in Justin's case, it would be, I turned myself into a pickle who's been charged with domestic abuse. I'm Pickle Justin. <laughs> I stole that from a news article. But this situation is no laughing matter. It is very serious. It's a bigger disaster to the Rick and Morty fan base since they stopped selling Szechuan sauce at McDonald's. It's just absolutely devastating for them. But Justin Roiland himself is in some pretty hot water for some good reasons. Those being he is facing two felony charges related to an alleged domestic violence incident back in 2020. One of those felonies is domestic battery with corporal injury and then the other one is of false imprisonment. So these are some pretty hefty charges that he's being put up against. And just to rub some more salt in Justin's open hemorrhaging wound, uh, recently some text messages came out between him and a 16 year old from back in 2015 15, and they're pretty bad. But before I get into those text messages, I want to catch you up to speed real quick on the lore of his felony charges. So first, he was arrested for these charges back in 2020, but was released on a $50,000 bond to which he was arraigned in October and pleaded not guilty. And reportedly, the unnamed victim, just going by Jane Doe to keep anonymity, has issued a 100 feet restraining order that was filed that same year that the charges were put against him. And since those two felony charges were brought against Justin, there have been several other accusations, several other people speaking out against Justin, saying that very similar things happened to them. Of course, none of that has been verified. It's just accusations. And there are also similar claims that have been put out against Squanch Games, which is Royland Studio that produced High on Life, that game where the guns are so annoying, they won't shut up like they're a five-year-old asking to play games on your phone. It's so obnoxious. But they were accused of sexual harassment, discrimination, and wrongful dismissal back in 2018, to which they denied it all, of course, but then they decided to agree and settle. Sorry, I had to close the shade. The holy lot was shining upon me. But that's pretty much it when it comes to the felony charges that Justin is facing. He hasn't been sentenced yet, and I can hear the Justin jerkers now being like, oh, he's innocent until proven guilty. But in situations like this, the people with that take are just so brain dead. From what I've read, they seem to have some pretty sufficient evidence, which is why this has been taken to court and why he's been charged. So we're just gonna have to see how it plays out and just, you know, when the final verdict comes out, we'll know. But now we move on to Justin Roiland being a weirdo with a 16 year old over messages. So let's go ahead and start off with this one right here. He says, oh yeah, sorry, at the airport. It's insane in the membrane. You can tell it's 2015. What time is it there now? 1137. And this is where he starts to be racist towards Chinese people, speaking how Chinese people stereotypically do when they have an accent. I've never actually seen somebody top in a racist accent. I didn't even know that was possible, but I guess here it is. She responds and says, I have school tomorrow. And then he proceeds to do like a, another accent potentially. I, I don't really know. But she says, FML. You should just run away from home and go into sex slavery, you fucking stupid F slur bitch. Because that makes everything better. If you say just kidding, it's like saying it's just a prank. It just makes everything else before that null and void. Cancels it out. <laughs> it's simple PIMDOS. But that's not even the worst part, because it gets even crazier. Would you do video game reviews and stuff like that? I bet you do good. Yeah, just playing games and stuff. Then once you turn 18, you could just start cam whoring. Okay, Justin, that's a, a wild leap right there. You just long jumped over this conversation. I don't know where you're going, but it, it keeps going. Why are you such gel bait? What's wrong with you in that regard? You should grow older, dumb bitch. So now he's pretty much admitting he's attracted to this 16 year old and he can't wait for her to turn 18. Is it cool being jail baits? Does the FBI follow you around arresting all the men you sleep with? So it seems like Justin's a real Rizzly bear over text. He's just got that unspoken Riz. He's really good at texting monitors. Maybe I will. I want to meet you in real life, jail bait. So I can help you not to be a homophobic slur. I'm Atlanta drunk. Surprisingly, Justin wasn't a 12-year-old edgelord whenever he texted this stuff to the girl. He was actually 34 years old saying this stuff to a 16-year-old. That's bananas. Now, of course, these messages aren't confirmed to be 100% true, although most people are seemingly believing them. And it has come to my attention that these screenshots that were posted by the original person were deleted, and then they made their account private. But this is a screenshot of that thread before it was deleted, and then they made their account private. They said, on September 2015, Justin Roiland followed me on Twitter. I was 16. 
Of course, I was so excited because I loved Rick and Morty at the time, so I messaged him first and we started talking every now and then. Some of it was very casual, but some parts were 100% weird. You don't say. He knew that he shouldn't have been talking to me, but the excited fangirl in me tweeted a screen cap of one of our convos. And if you look at these convos closely, you can see like where he's talking about where she posted one of their convos and he says, you have to delete that one, ha ha. And then you can vaguely make out, can I trust you though? You're not going to be a dick and screenshot, screen cap our convos and post them all over the internet, are you, asshole? And then you go on down, it says, This is us having a conversation about the character from Rick and Morty, Jessica, where he first nicknamed me Jailbait. And if you zoom in, and once again, zoom and enhance a lot of that going on, yeah, around 14, 15, I would say, yeah, she's Jailbait, I guess. It's strange, I look at the characters as being older, but they're not. Same. You are Jailbait yourself, though. That is true. Jail bait. And now we move on to what they said about the situation. They said they, they spoke on kick briefly where he wanted to hear her speak. So she sent him a video of her walking around her school just talking about random stuff to the camera. And he said he couldn't stop listening to it. And then she says it's absolutely crazy to me that there are so many girls out there who have experienced the same thing with him. He's been doing the rounds for years. I haven't been able to watch the show since 2018 because it just made me ill. They say hindsight's 2020, and the fact that the creator of the show put something like an incest space baby between uh, Morty and Summer in the show, brother and sister, it's uh, entirely not that weird looking back on it that the creator is a big weirdo himself. I figured I should bring this up at the end as well. Some people are going crazy saying, oh, are we going to get another episode of Rick and Morty? What about Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty should be the last thing on your mind right now. There are t uh, two felony charges against a woman that he domestically abused, allegedly, and then these creepy text messages from an uh, to, that he sent to an underage girl. So I think Rick and Morty should be at the back of your mind right now. I don't think that should be the, the cause for concern, but probably no more Rick and Morty. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Justin Roiland situation. Just disgusting behavior from a seemingly disgusting dude. I'm going to keep an eye on this situation and follow it and see how it develops and eventually comes to a conclusion. And I'll make an update if it's worth making an update, but I just figured I'd bring it all to you, lay it all, flop it all on the table, and just let you take it, interpret it how you want. But I'm definitely leaning on the side that this is all probably true. Allegedly true.